she was in love. Why was she in love? Perfect. Number two, they were in the park. I would take my kids every day in the morning at 7.30, 7.45, walk to the UACDC with the little kids and lunch on one hand, backpack on the other hand, and we would go to the UACDC all day long from 8 till 2. We really had fun. The kids would stay at the little classroom and I would stay at, the, at my classroom learning English, practicing, and I heard from my classmates that I could take the GED next door. I graduated in 2010 from the GED class, and it was a, a big accomplishment. When I drove into the community and, and saw the, the need, for sure. There's great need in this community, but I saw the opportunity. Uh, the opportunity just blew me away, and I said, I, I, I have to be a part of this. It's a bigger calling for me than just a job. You know, how do you change a community? How do you improve a community? And for us, we think we have the solution. And it's through our neighborhood transformation strategy, where we're creating a park in the heart of the community, seven acres, and then we are adopting all the blocks that surround the park and entering a program called Block by Block. In the last year and a half, we've been able to purchase 18 properties within a one mile radius of the Harvest Hope Park. We put up a big sign that says, Harvest Hope Property is growing our community one block at a time because we want residents to be excited about what's happening in this community and to be a part of it, you know, not just to see it, but to be engaged and be a part of it. We really want to create attainable housing in this community in all shapes and forms. So not just single family, but also townhome. We're looking at modulars. We really want to think outside the box and figuring out how does it work and how and what does it take to make a resident in this community become a homeowner. The other piece that's so critical in, in our strategy is empowering the residents to be able to do this work, to talk about it, to be able to be the advocates for it. And so we're creating our Leaders Collective program, which is really empowering residents to talk about meaningful change in the community. I feel it's very important for me to live in a neighborhood because I get to have an experience that normal residents have, where I can understand them, I can relate more to their needs. We have big plans about what's going to go on. This is just the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Success looks like a community that no longer needs a CDC. We want to make a community that's inclusive and healthy and walkable and bikeable and drivable and, you know, making sure that all those points of a community are really brought together in a holistic way, putting residents, you know, at the beginning, at the front where they should be. As an immigrant in another country, it's not easy. I went from, from zero and started escalating little by little. It takes little steps to progress, but just don't give up. Life is beautiful. Life is worth the living. Live your life. Just, that's my advice. Don't give up. Anything's possible, and we can change a community.